Right. All right, so let's, uh, let's talk about deleting some of these comments for my movies. Uh, so one, one question that was asked was, what happens when we delete a movie? Because th those have dependent uh, comments associated with them, right? So a movie has many comments. And if we, if we delete the movie, those comments have a, have a foreign key relationship back to a non-existent object. They don't, so you end up with this trash in your comments table. So I have to tell uh, my table that if I destroy my movie, I want it to also destroy all associated comments. So I do that in the model. Um, sorry, get our model up here. And it has many comments, and I can add another uh, tag to this where I say it's uh, dependent, dependent. Destroy. Okay, so when a movie gets destroyed, Rails will automatically do the cleanup to destroy all associated comments with that movie. All right, so I have to add that dependent destroy there. All right, any questions on that? That's a fairly straightforward. All right, so that's one thing. Now we need to add a method. We have to have a way of deleting a comment. Now, I, what I said was this is usually not a good idea, and you certainly don't want other users to be able to delete their comments because it changes history. Uh, what happens, I, I've written forum bulletin board software for 20 years, and the problem is if you delete, if you have a bunch of messages, and people are replying back and forth, and somebody makes a bad comment, everybody else is now responding to this comment. They're saying, oh, you're an idiot, you're an idiot. They flame wars, go back to this original post. If the guy goes back and deletes that post, it makes everybody else look like the idiot, and he's free and clear. What are you guys talking about? I don't know what we're talking about, right? So uh, it's usually a bad idea to delete history. But some cases, if they're so profane that you want to get rid of them, then it might make sense. But we would only want the administrator to be able to do that. So we need to tie this link in only for an administrator process. All right. So we're going to, where would we add the, the link to actually delete it? In the show page for the, for in my case, my movies, right? So. I've got my views, movies, show. It, it likes to do that for me. So I want to have a link next to each comment for an administrator only, right? And we had a method that we wrote called isAdmin. So I want to use, make use of that. So inside of my link, as I'm laying out the comments, I might put at the bottom something like uh, if, oops, if is, I lost my, what the heck? If is admin of my current user, no, that already takes care of it, right? If they're an admin, Then I want to add a link. So I do a link to. And we want a link to my, um, well, let's show show you, remember our, uh, our routes. We have nested comments inside of our movies, right? So let's run the rake routes and see what kinds of things we have in there, given that nesting.
All right, so I have All right, so I have a, a movie comment. So notice because they're nested now, I have an edit movie comment. I have a movie comment. And so I want to do this delete of a movie comment. So it's going to be movie comment path. And that is going to go to my comments destroy function that I have to write because I destroyed that. All right, so I want to go to movie underscore comment underscore path. Um, and we'll call this uh, delete comment. And I want to go to movie comment path. And I need to pass it some information uh, about where this is going to. And at this point, I have only the comment. Uh, I guess I have the movie too, but so I need to pass it the co the movie and the comment uh, uh, so that it knows which one to go to, and I can also pass. Oh, let's see. Now this might have changed in Rails four, so let me think about this. Um, I want to pass in the method is going to be the delete method, all right? Because I want to delete this comment path. There was no, if you remember my routes, there was no uh, delete movie comment delete path. There's a movie comment with a method of delete. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm missing what? I'm probably missing a bunch of stuff. Yeah, so this goes. No, that's right. There. <laughs> that takes care of that. All right. So, yes. So the method is delete. And I can also pass in uh, something like a, a another message that will dis get displayed. And this will create the JavaScript to pop up a window to make sure you want to delete that. So we'll say we want to confirm that with, uh, are you sure? Yes, yes. All right, so let's, uh, before we actually write this method, let's see if that works. So let's run, I never even ran my program here. Coming. There we go. So here's my movies. I've got a delete comment now next to each one of them. If I click on it, it comes up. Are you sure? That's the message that I typed in my confirm path here. So I could type whatever I wanted. And if I say OK, then it's going to actually go to that method, which is, is not actually doing anything here, right? So let's go uh, fix that code. We have to fix our comment destroy. Any questions on our link that we created, though? Could you add that delete to your link file? As a path? Yes. Yeah. As a, a new, uh, to your routes, you mean? Right. Uh, yeah. You could, but this is already handling all of that. I'd have to do another one, um, and I haven't done one. I think you can do a delete. Uh, it would be 
movies, movie slash ID slash comment slash comment ID, something like that. And then you'd have to say where it goes to, et cetera. I don't know if this is going to work. Your action is going to go to the um, uh, it's going to go to <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what I had there. It's going to go to uh, my comments controller uh, destroy, so comments Gonna go to uh, yeah. It's gonna yeah. You'd have to do something like this. Uh, comments. Action. Destroy. Um, as. Destroy. Comment. Something like that. <laughs> it would be, it's a little complicated to do that, right? Well, to not do that, uh, do what I did in my show. I created that from the movie comment path by adding all of this data here to it. Yeah, and that's why mine is in. Yeah, you can. You could put it in this controller, in the products only, in the products view show page, yes. Yep. That would work. <laughs> right, true. So that would work. So anyway, that's, that gives our link. So let's go fix our comments controller and our destroy method. Uh, this, is, this is going to destroy our comment. That should, let's see. I have to do something similar to what I did up here. I have to go get the movie, because these are related resources now. So I have to go get the movie from the params that's going to be passed in, that URL. I'm going to then get the comment. Um, I have to find the comment as well. Well, I'm only deleting one at a time. Right, so I have to find my comment. So I'm going to look for my movie dot comments. That's all of the comments, and from that I want to find the one that was passed to me from my params of my comment. No. Params comes from outside of any model. What were you saying, Brendan? Um, after the error, if you go back, the, it actually did destroy that comment. So it would add comment already exists as the past it add comment to it. Yeah, see, it's already doing that. This is new with Rails 4. So, yes, you're right. This, the, the comment is being set because it's being called before every action here. So my comment is being set automatically, so I don't have to do that. So then I, I really don't need that either, then I imagine. That should work. Then instead of redirecting um, to the comments, I don't want to redirect to the comment because I don't have that. Uh, I would redirect to somewhere else. And so I do need my movie. I need to redirect to the comments movie path. So I want to go to um, movie path that 
is from my comment, and I can look up the movie um, ID from the comment because they have that relationship. My comment belongs to a movie. I can look up the, its parent, and from a movie, I can look up all the comments. So it has that relationship back and forth. All right, so let's see if that works. Just time for a proxy break. Junior, yeah, we should get some advertising on here or something. Waiting for our proxy fix. All right, there we go. So let's delete this whiteboard user-centric communities. Comment. Delete. Are you sure? Redirects to my comments. And I have a missing required keys here. So my, uh, what did I say movie comment path? I didn't want to say movie comment path. I want to go to just the movie path, right? Movie comment path is really not useful for me. I want to redirect only to that guy. So let's try it again. And this should be gone. It should have been destroyed anyway. Yep, it was gone. So it did delete it. It just didn't redirect me correctly. Delete again. Are you sure? Yes. There we go. So now I'm back to my integrate scalable architecture, and that comment is gone. So let's make sure I'm on 201. I delete my last comment, synthesize ubiquitous models. I'm still on 201, and my last comment was gone. Look at that. Is that sweet? So the, uh, the thing was that I needed to redirect. I defined the movie associated with my comment that I was going to destroy there and uh, redirect to that specific place. All right? Any questions on that? Easy stuff, huh? Any other questions on the comments or reviews for your products then? Last chance. <laughs> <laughs> 